Hey, welcome to Happiness Bar, where my goal is to share cocktails, content, and happiness. Today, it's a beautiful winter day. I'm gonna show you how to make the OG hot buttered rum. This is exciting, man. This is a boozy little sipper, fatty, luxurious, tons of spices, tons of flavor. Great to sip by the fire, great to sip on your holidays, while you decorate, while you hang out, whatever you're doing, this cocktail is it, man. The hot buttered rum, the OG hot buttered rum, is where it's at. So I'm gonna show you how to make it today. This hot aged rum cocktail is gonna be chock full of cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, vanilla, uh, clove, so many great spices for the winter time. Get ready, because we're gonna jump right in. All right, so the build for our hot butter rum. We're gonna need two tablespoons of our spice infused butter that we're gonna make right here. We're gonna to top that with two ounces of aged rum and six ounces of hot water. We're gonna build that all in a, in a mug, in a nice heat proof mug. We're gonna stir that up. It's gonna blend up real nicely. We're gonna garnish that with a cinnamon stick. So with that being said, we got a little bit of prep work to do today. Not too bad though. So let's just jump right into the prep work. So the tools you're gonna to need for the prep work. You're gonna need a mixing bowl. You're gonna need some measuring spoons. You're gonna need a measuring cup. You're gonna need an egg beater or something to beat that butter with. And you're gonna need a pot or a kettle, something that you can heat your water up with. I guess the microwave will work good too. Oh, and lastly, you're gonna need some storage containers to store the remainder of your butter with. All right, so the only thing we have to prep today is our spice uh, infused butter, right? So what we need is a whole stick of unsalted butter. What we're gonna do, unwrap it, get all that paper, and we're just gonna drop it in the bowl. Next, we need a half cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna do this over my bowl so I don't uh, get sugar everywhere, hopefully. So I feel like I've been spilling a lot of sugar on this show, and it's, it's, it's not, not good for me, man. It's not good for the ants. None of that shit. Okay. If you spill a little extra sugar in there, that's okay. Just not too much. All right, so we got a half cup of brown sugar. We're just gonna add that in with the butter. Now for the spices. You're gonna need a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of our ground clove, a teaspoon of our ground nutmeg. God, I love nutmeg, man. It smells so good. That's my dog. Looks like I accidentally bought whole allspice. So, I'm gonna grind my allspice up real quick. Grinder up. Get a nice fine powder if you gotta grind it up. All right, that should be good. Now if you screwed up like me and you accidentally bought whole allspice, just grind her up real quick. You'll be good. All right, teaspoon, allspice, done. Gonna need a teaspoon of our vanilla extract. And lastly, we're gonna need a pinch of salt. Boom. All right, so we got everything in our bowl. We're gonna beat that up with our egg beaters here. I'm gonna use my hands a little bit here to mold this together. Uh, if you wait till your butter's room temperature, it'll probably mix together a little better. Or if it's cold, then hey, warm it up a little bit with your hands maybe, warm it up in the microwave just a touch. And we got this nice and incorporated, right? This little like block of dough right here. Oh yeah. All right, so we adapt, you know? Things don't go exactly how we planned. There it is, right? This little block of butter that's infused. I'm gonna taste a little piece, because why not? It's butter and spices and sugar. Mmm. Yeah, that's fucking heaven right there. And what I'm gonna do is grab all my butter, put it in a little storage container, so that way, whatever I don't use, I can refrigerate, I can use it for, uh, Rolls, pancakes, waffles, man. This will be fantastic on everything. Let's make sure we label and date it. It is butter. Uh, keep it refrigerated. Look at the 
shelf life on your butter at home, and that is the shelf life for this. All right. So we got our spice infused butter done, man. That's it for the prep work today, guys. So let's jump into making our hot buttered rum cocktail. All right, so our prep work is done. I'm gonna get making our hot buttered rum. While I start that process, I'm gonna get my water heating up. I got this awesome instant kettle right here. This water will heat up in a flash, man. So this cocktail is not shaken or stirred, right? It is built. So the first thing we're gonna need is our glassware. Make sure you get a uh, heat proof glass, man. Something like uh, an Irish coffee mug works great. You know, you don't want something that's gonna blow up when you throw that hot water into it. So while we're waiting on that to heat up, let's go ahead and grab our butter mixture, grab a tablespoon, and we're gonna do two tablespoons of butter right in to the glass. One and two. All right. Just too tasty to resist, man. You gotta lick your fingers when you're doing this. So that is in the glass. Let's go ahead and measure out two ounces of our aged rum. I'm using the Bacardi five year. Use whatever your favorite aged rum is. All right, my water's heated up enough. I don't want it to be scalding hot, boiling, right? I just need it to be hot, right? Hot enough. So we're aiming for six ounces of water. I know this is an eight ounce glass. I poured two, a little displacement with the uh, butter. So I'm just gonna top it all the way to the top with this. I'm gonna fill it with that hot water. All right. And we're gonna grab our bar spoon and we're just gonna stir our butter mixture in. See it immediately cloudies up, man. Gets all nice and cloudy. Yeah, this looks good, man. You're gonna see the fats rise to the top a little bit. And the sugar all infused. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's grab our cinnamon stick. All right, find a pretty one. There you have it, guys. The hot buttered rum. Let's taste. Dip that down in there. Smells great, man. You get the allspice, the nutmeg, the cinnamon. So many great spices right on the nose. Oh my God. I think I found my new favorite winter cocktail. Holy shit. This is my first time making this one. This is my first time drinking this one. This is so good, man. The aged rum, it's so boozy, yet it's so drinkable, sippable. Uh, the water cuts it down. It's so nice that it's warm. The spices, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove comes through, man. That brown sugar really kind of brings some more molasses notes forward. The vanilla, God, this smells good. This tastes good. This screams fucking winter. Drink this by the fire. Holy shit, that is fantastic, guys. I cannot stress to you more. I hope you guys make this buttered, hot buttered rum. Uh, it's awesome. Guys, I hope you have a happy holiday season, happy winter, uh, and hey, maybe you're making this recipe along with me. Maybe you wrote it down safe for a later date. Either way, let me know how you're liking everything. And uh, as always, guys, become a regular somewhere. Become a regular at your local watering hole. It's the best way to support local business. And become a regular here at Happiness Bar by liking, commenting, subscribing. Hit that bell if you want notifications. We got fantastic cocktails like this coming out every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern to get you ready for the weekend. Stay happy, everyone. Now I am with this. I don't want to put it down. Okay, goodbye.